It's Alex, the Bookubus. Welcome to my library. Hello, it's Alex, the Bookubus. I'm back with another instalment of my library tour. I know it's been a while <laughs> since the previous one, but better late than never. And in this video I'm going to continue going through my vintage mass market paperbacks. These are mostly horror or some horror adjacent type of genres. And I'm going to be sharing with you three more shelves of my library and I hope you enjoy it. So starting off with Mazes and Monsters by Rona Jaffe. Stone Dead by Ellen Jameson. Absolutely love this cover and the flames in this creepy doll's eyes. Voice of the Blood by Jameer Jefferson, which is the first in a vampire series. I've only read this first book, but I really enjoyed it. Now moving on to my Ruby Jean Jensen's. She is a wonderful author. I have really enjoyed everything of hers that I've read so far. I haven't read this one yet though. <laughs> this one is Celia chain letter. Love all this embossing on the cover of the, the gates. Very cool. Death Stone. The Haunting. Home Sweet Home, which has one of the best covers ever. House of Illusions, which has this crazy holographic cover. Faces change. There's a lot going on, and it's all amazing. <laughs> Lost and Found. This is the first of hers that I ever found out in the wild. I found it in a Salvation Army thrift store and pretty much screamed, <laughs> grabbed it. Yeah, that was a great moment. The Reckoning, which is a recent addition to my library. I found this a couple of months ago in a secondhand bookstore. Vampire Child. I love this cover so very much. And last but not least, Wait and See, which not only has one of the best covers also, but is probably my favourite of hers so far. It was actually the first one of hers I ever read, and yeah, I just thoroughly enjoyed it, so it will always be a special one to me. Let's Go Play at the Adams by Mendel W. Johnson. This is the Valancourt Paperbacks from Hell reissue. Now moving on to another zebra or zebra favourite, William W. Johnstone. This is Cat's Eye, The Nursery, which is the only one of his I've read so far, and it was quite the experience, so I do look forward to reading more of his. Rocking Horse, another absolutely fantastic cover, and Sandman. Yeah, classic cover. You really can't go wrong with a skeleton on the cover, if you ask me. Blood Test by Jonathan Kellerman. Something Out There by Ronald Kelly. The Unholy by Paul Stewart Kemp. The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum. Yeah, one of the most infamous horror books possibly of all time. One of my favourite covers, even though it does not prepare you for the contents of the book. This was probably one of my best ever thrift finds. I found this in a thrift store. It's not in the best shape, but like, I wasn't going to say no. It was 99 cents, but it was half off that day. I was very excited to find that. And another edition of The Girl Next Door. I found this in a thrift store too, and I grabbed it because it has not only the novel, but it includes two of his short stories. So I figured, why not grab it too? Also by Jack Ketchum, Off Season, which is the first of his that I read and really enjoyed. Prophetess by Janet Kidd. I think that's a pseudonym though, uh, but I'm blanking on <laughs> their real name. But yeah, wonderful cover. The Red Tree by Caitlin R. Kiernan. Do not be put off by this kind of paranormal romancy type cover. This is a really excellent combination of folk horror and cosmic horror and some other things as well, psychological horror. Yeah, highly recommend it. Okay, moving over slightly. 
we have Witch Beast by Bernard King. Next up are a bunch of Stephen King Signet editions. We've got Christine, The Dark Half, The Dead Zone, really love the typography on this one, Dolores Claiborne, Gerald's Game, It, such a classic, Misery, Night Shift, Nightmares and Dreamscapes with this metallic sun and moon, Pet Cemetery, Salem's Lot, The Shining. One of the rare instances where I actually like the film better than the book. Skeleton Crew. Next up is Small World by Tabitha King. The Animal Hour by Andrew Claven. And last up for this shelf is The Ceremonies by T.E.D. Klein. I found this one in a thrift store for really cheap and it's one that I've really been wanting to read for ages so I was still happy to find it even though yeah this metallic cover has seen better days and it does have this rather lovely step back art too. So yeah really looking forward to reading this one. Moving on to the next shelf Baby Doll by Marilyn Knight. As you probably know this is one of my favourite authors Queen Kathy Koja, and this one is Bad Brains, wonderful artwork, and sorry for the glare, terrifying step back art. The Cypher, and if you've seen any of my videos you'll probably have heard me raving about this one. Again, incredible artwork, and also step back art, which is yeah, really quite nightmarish. I also have this promotional uh, thing for a different edition of the Cypher, which is signed by the author herself, which is very cool. Skin, which is another absolutely incredible read. And Strange Angels, which has kind of stand back art. <laughs> the Guardian by Jeffrey Convitz, which I think is the sequel to The Sentinel, so I need to get a copy of that. And this one has, yeah, some creepy step back art. Next up are a few Dean Kuntz books. This one is The Mask, The Fun House, and some wonderful inner artwork there. The Servants of Twilight. The Vision. I really love this cover too and don't know if it's coming across but the bat's eyes are like red metallic so <laughs> that's really cool. And another copy of The Vision because I really like this cover too. Haven't actually read the book yet so <laughs> I really should get to it but yeah the Ouija board and the combo of purple and neon orange is really excellent. The Voice of the Night, which I have read and really enjoyed. And last up for Dean Kuntz is Whispers. Limbo by Jan Lara. Really lovely cover, even though I think that's meant to be a coffin and not a laptop, but I can't not see a laptop. The Link by Andrew Lawrence. This is the second book in the Blood of Nostradamus trilogy. I need to track down book one. And The Unborn by Andrew Lawrence, which is book three in that trilogy. Yeah, I really love the skulls on these covers. Next up are a few Stephen Laws books. This one is Dark Fall, Ferocity, which looks like it was actually clawed by <laughs> this giant cat. Spectre, which is the only one of his I've read so far, but I really enjoyed it, so I really look forward to reading more of his work. And The Worm, also by Stephen Laws. Next up are some Richard Lehman titles. This one is All Hallows Eve. Blood Games, which was the first of his that I read, and it's definitely one of my favourites so far. In the Dark, 
This one was pretty fun too. Night in the Lonesome October. One rainy night. Okay, moving over slightly. This one is Resurrection Dreams. I really enjoyed this one too. And last up for the Richard Laymans is The Stake. House Infernal by Edward Lee. Into the Pit by Warner Lee. Love that cover. Crawl Space by Herbert Lieberman. Dominion by Bentley Little. Or Dominion, if you're a Sisters of Mercy fan. I have a few more Bentley Little books. This one is The Mailman, and I've read this one and really enjoyed it. It's the only one of his I've read so far, so again, another author I look forward to reading more by. The Revelation. The Store. And The Summoning, which I think is a vampire novel, so I'm definitely curious to see how he tackles vampires. This is a movie tie-in of The Nightmares on Elm Street, part four, The Dream Master, and part five, The Dream Child, written by Joseph Locke. And of course, it has some great stills from the movies in the middle, which is really, really cool. The Little Wax Doll by Nora Lofts. And in small print on the cover, it says the original title was The Devil's Own by Peter Curtis. Really love this cover. The Hand of Dracula by Robert Lorre. This is book two in the Dracula horror series. Dearest by Peter Lofren. Another absolutely wonderful cover. I found this at a library book sale last year and yeah, squealed with joy <laughs> at finding it. And I'm hoping to do a buddy read of this one of these days with the lovely Kelsey at Slime and Slashes. So very excited for that. The H.P. Lovecraft Omnibus 2, Dagon and other macabre tales. Excellent artwork. And The Lurker at the Threshold, also by H.P. Lovecraft. Necroscope by Brian Lumley. I read this, I think it was last year, and really enjoyed it. It's a yeah, really great take on vampire fiction. And book two in the Necroscope series, Vampiri. And then I randomly have book five in the series, Dead Spawn. The Obsession of Sally Wing by Russ Martin. And The Possession of Jessica Young also by Russ Martin. And moving on to the third and final shelf for this video. This is The Voice in the Basement by T. Chris Martindale. Really love the design of this cover, the artwork, the typography, the colours. So good. Next are a few Graham Masterton books. The Doorkeepers. The Pariah, which has this super gnarly cover. I love it so much. And Prey, also by Graham Masterton. A bit of gothic romance here. This is Moonstruck Madness by Laurie McBain. And the artwork goes around to the back, which is really lovely. Next up are some Robert Darmer Cameron books. This one is Bethany's Sin. Boy's Life which I always hear wonderful things about, so really need to give that a read sometime. The Night Boat, really wonderful artwork, and this one has red edges as well. And another edition of The Night Boat. Which cover of these is your favourite? I'm not sure I could pick between them, honestly. Speaks the Nightbird, Volume 1, Judgment of the Witch, and Speaks the Nightbird, Volume 2, Evil Unveiled, I think this is also available in one novel, but it was also released in two parts. Swan Song, which is a pretty big boy. I read this recently and really loved it. Definitely my favourite McCammon so far. And last up for the Robert R. McCammon books is Bay Thirst, which has this absolutely incredible cover. Unearthed by Ashley McConnell. Althea by Abigail McDaniels, which is a pen name for a husband and wife writing duo. 
and The Uprising, also by Abigail McDaniels, which I have read and unfortunately I didn't think it was very good, which is a shame, but I can't bring myself to get rid of this copy because the cover is too amazing. Next are a few Michael McDowell books. This is the only book of the Blackwater series that I have, randomly number three, The House. Cold Moon Over Babylon, which is an absolutely fantastic read, highly recommend. The Elementals, which is also excellent. And Gilded Needles, which I have yet to read, but it looks awesome. Next are a few Claire McNally books. This one is Somebody Come and Play. It has a great cover with metallic detail and then creepy step back art. Stage Fright, which has some very 90s step back art. I love it so much. Okay, and moving over slightly, next up is Cries of the Children and Ghost House, also by Claire McNally. Witches by Catherine Maya Griffith. Save the Last Dance for Me by Judy Miller. Another great cover with even better step back art. Secret Melody by Paula Minton. Sips of Blood by Mary Ann Mitchell. And Quenched by Mary Ann Mitchell. Crooked House by Thomas F. Monteleone and John DeChancy. This is one that my husband found for me in a thrift store and it is signed by both the authors, which is really cool. This was back in 1988. Stitch by Mark Morris. Definitely one of my favourite reads of this year so far. And Toady, also by Mark Morris. This was one of my favourite reads of last year. Dream House by E. Patrick Murray. A really wonderful cover and it's all embossed as well, so super cool. And I'm going to be reading this one soon actually. I've picked it out as part of my TBR for Old School April and I can't wait. Next up are a few Andrew Niederman books. This one is Afterlife. Duplicates. The Immortals. Love that cover. Pin. Another favourite cover of mine with amazing step back art. And this is a really excellent read too. Playmates. Another one that I have to sing. Sister, sister. I'm sorry. And last up for the Andrew Nidermans, this is Surrogate Child. Another incredible cover, this is Death Day by Robert Neville, which I believe is Sean Hudson. The House of Thunder by Lee Nichols, which is one of the many pen names of Dean Koontz. And this one has some step back art. Mind Spell by K. Nolte Smith. Save Joanna by Francine Pascal. Very mirrory cover and this is the same author that created the Sweet Valley series. So very curious to see what a novel of exorcism and possession is from her. The Making of a Monster by Gail Peterson. Don't Tell Daddy by Barbara Petty. And last up for this video is Thrill, also by Barbara Petty. This copy is rather battered, but I love the cover and I'm really looking forward to reading it. So that was another instalment of my library tour. Hopefully I'll get the next part up before another six months pass, <laughs> but we will see. If you have any questions about any of these books, please feel free to ask in the comments below. If there are any that you've read, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. 
ไป